what's up everybody welcome to a second of these videos that i've ever done um i am going to be covering e3 this year probably tell by the title of this video um it will be a little bit different than last year uh just because some scheduling things certain stuff that i will explain but i wanted to address the schedule what i'm doing and where you can expect to see this stuff so I have some stuff here. I'm not going to edit this in. I don't really feel like editing some big elaborate video just for this little update. Um, but I will do one of these here. Throw myself up here in this corner so that you guys can see my screen. So Saturday, June 9th, 2 p.m. my time is EA. Unfortunately. Not really. Um, I am not going to be able to do any kind of live coverage of the EA press conference. I have prior engagement that I have to uh, stick with. Um, I will be watching it, and I will make a pre-recorded video in post after the fact. Um, but that being said, don't really expect much. And it's sports, sports, and more sports. That's just EA's thing. Uh, I expect to see Anthem and Battlefield 5, obviously. Here it says uh, Unravel 2, which I feel like that's a little soon, but Unravel wasn't a very big game. Uh, I never played it. I wanted to, but I never picked it up. And maybe a Dragon Age? I, I feel like those are probably not going to happen because Bioware makes Dragon Age. So they're going to be working on Anthem. That, that's That's just stupid. Uh, Sunday is a big day, and I will be doing live coverage of the uh, conferences that day um, as they come out. Um, they're at kind of weird times. Um, I don't know what Devolver Digital is going to be, because last year it was more just like a satire thing. It was great. It was easily the highlight of E3 for me last year. If you haven't seen last year's Devolver Digital conference go look it up on youtube it's fucking phenomenal um but microsoft which i'm hoping for something great out of microsoft i really am i don't think they can survive another year of not showing any goddamn games it, it just has to happen uh that'll be at 4 p.m my time you can see your times right here so like you can figure out where you are if you're wanting to watch the streams those will be these Sunday and Monday will be live coverage for all of them, as long as I have a way to watch them. Um, Bethesda, I'm absolutely going to be watching the Bethesda conference live. I'm super excited for that. Rage 2's already got me going. Fallout 76 is a thing. I don't know what it is, but we'll see. Never played a Fallout game. Thinking about picking up Fallout 4. Maybe playing through it on the channel. Let's see. Who knows? Uh, and the rumor that there is going to be Prey DLC that takes place on the moon, and if that winds up being a similar DLC to uh, what they did with Death of the Outsider for Dishonored, and it's like its own standalone thing, that excites me. Look forward to that. Uh, again, Devolver Digital, I really don't know what to expect, but it looks like these are probably going to overlap, because I highly doubt Bethesda's only going to go for... Uh... Wait... Yeah, I, I highly doubt that Bethesda is only going to go for an hour and a half. I was reading the times wrong there. <clears throat> so these probably overlap, and I'm going to prioritize Bethesda. This might not even be an actual live stream. Last year, it was just a video they put out that was like half an hour long. It was really weird, and it was fucking hilarious. So I do look forward to watching it, but it might not be live, so it might be like a pre-recorded thing that I have to do. Monday is the biggest day for me, anyway. Um, in that it includes Ubisoft and Sony. Ubisoft was my winner of E3 last year. E3 wasn't the best year last year, but that aside, they, they definitely showed the most content, the most things that got people excited, and specifically beyond Good and Evil 2, which people have been waiting for a decade. Um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is already leaked. You know you're going to see that. You know you're going to see The Division 2. Um, E3 is happening this weekend. The Crew 2 comes out at the end of the month, but they'll probably show that off and advertise a season pass. 
uh, um, Skull and Bones, obviously. Beyond Good and Evil 2, you might see something of it. But I, I doubt it'll be anything substantial, because after they announced it last year, I read an article stating that they had just finished the engine. So the game is nowhere near... Like, it's just not. We'll see. Um, the general idea is that Assassin's Creed Odyssey is going to be out this year, which I'm not sure how I feel because I only just finished Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, I hope it's different enough to where I don't have to just put it on a shelf and wait until I'm ready to play another Assassin's Creed because Origins was great, but holy crap, it took forever. Um, the PC gaming show, I don't really do coverage. That's usually just like a talk show. Uh, it's more about hardware and stuff like that. Uh, I don't typically pay attention to that. I'll take that time as a break in the day. Sony's press conference. I don't know what to expect this year. Um, and I have a talking point about this. <clears throat> uh, I don't think the example I have is a Sony specific thing, but I've seen this for every single entity that is appearing at E3 this year. I can tell you it's bullshit <laughs> in every single way. <laughs> um, in that being, you've probably seen this if you care at all about E3. These things. These supposed schedules. This is the third of three Sony-specific ones that I've seen. All of which include random bullshit and stuff that doesn't exist. Well, that was loud. I don't know if you guys heard that, but my PlayStation made a noise. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the, the first thing on this one that bothers me to the point where I just can't believe this is Bioshock. I, I know. <laughs> um, if that is true, I will eat something inedible on my desk. I'll make a video, I swear. Um, the other thing that bothers me on here, where was it? Spider-Man PSVR mode. As much as I enjoy the idea of PlayStation VR, unless this is like a standalone thing, I don't really want to see that. Also, Resident Evil 2 remake PSVR. Like, come on. Again, I said, like I said, this is the third of three that I've seen. Also, I don't know who that guy is. Why would he be presenting Sony stuff? If he's the person that's going to be on stage as the presenter? Why? Why would he be doing that? Um, like you, you have a bunch of these. Like You have the Walmart leak here. Um, this is a Nintendo one that, again, I highly doubt it. Because Nintendo, Nintendo's stuff from anywhere over the last five, six years or so have been just random, like, here's three games, and then we're going to spend 20 minutes of our 30-minute press conference, or recorded, pre-recorded thing, talking about one game. And I can tell you right now, it's going to be Smash this year. You're going to get 20 minutes of Smash, and 10 minutes of trailers for maybe three to four, three to five other games. That's all you're going to get. Uh, but you see right here, there's this one, and then there's also this one, Right next to it, that's another Nintendo one that I'm not going to zoom in on because it doesn't matter because it's bullshit. It's complete and utter bullshit. Um, I don't even see the ones that I saw. Um, but the one of the Sony ones that I saw had a listing for... It just said Bluepoint's next game, which Bluepoint is the people that made and remade uh, the... Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Actually, I think this might be one of them. Yep, this is one of them. So, the one that I saw was blue, and it said Blue Point's next game. And then this one came out shortly after, and it says Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater remake trailer. But see, here's the issue I have with this one, if this is the same one, is you have Days Gone launch trailer, um, Splinter Cell Apocalypse trailer, which that's yet to be seen. We might see that at Ubisoft. I'm going to be really disappointed if that doesn't have co-op like the last one did, because the co-op was cool. Uh, blacklist. <clears throat> but, again, Days Gone launch trailer. Um, where was it? Spider-Man was on here somewhere, I thought, that said launch trailer as well. Um, 
Kingdom Hearts 3 launch trailer. Uh, Hideo Kojima plays Death Stranding, which might happen. Might very well happen. Um, but the, the simple fact, like, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake launch trailer. The term launch trailer is reserved for the trailer that comes out within two to three weeks before the game actually releases. Days Gone isn't coming out until February of next year. It was just announced today. So why would there be a launch trailer being released on 10th? Doesn't make sense. And that's why I consider all of these to be fake. And also, there's a part of me um, that uh, does not want this Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater remake. As much as I love Metal Gear Solid 3, it's my favorite one in the series. You don't remake the third game without remaking the other two first. It just doesn't happen. If that winds up being true, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play the living shit out of it. But I'm not going to be happy that they didn't make the first two before they remade the third one. On top of that, the fact that this is even on there, there's so much red tape they'd have to go through. And even though Bluepoint is known for making good remakes, I don't think people would be behind it. Because Kojima still wouldn't be involved. And I just don't see people wanting that. Also, Vanquish 2. Was Vanquish 1 even, like, noticeable in any way? I never played it. So, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> there's not really much else on here that I see that is uh, going to be a thing to point out. But, like I said, I'm pretty sure all of these press things, like you can see, this one versus the first one I showed, completely different documents. Like, it, it's just bullshit. I don't know why this trend started uh, this year. Like, if they wanted the attention, they could have started doing this years ago. But don't believe these things. They're, they're all complete shit. Like, here's another one for showroom instruction. This looks like Nintendo, which... Nintendo hasn't actually been at E3 for a couple of years now. Uh, they just have their own little thing that they released during E3. I don't know if that's changing this year, but yeah. That, that, and again, stupid shit. Luigi's Mansion. Gameplay of the first hour of the game and first quarter of the new boss rush mode. They just announced for Luigi's Mansion for 3DS a couple months back, maybe even less than that. It's it's a remake for the 3DS of the original Luigi's Mansion that everybody fucking loved on GameCube, self-included. Why do they need to waste an hour showing it off? It doesn't make sense. I just... If you see one of these, don't believe it, because the people that are stupid enough to... Uh, believe it, are being fooled by the people that are wise enough like me, but are also dickish enough to make their own and make it seem stupid. Like, I saw one that was literally nothing but Konami games, and it's like, well, that's not going to happen. Shit like that. Anyway, back to the schedule. <clears throat> Sony's press conference, as far as what I'm expecting to see, they've already confirmed that they're going to talk about four major games, uh, Death Stranding, Days Gone, Spider-Man, and Last of Us 2. All of those document things say that Bluepoint is going to announce whatever they're making. That is yet to be seen. We don't know that there's going to be anything else other than those four games at this press conference. While that's all well and good, I'd be a little disappointed if they didn't at least tease something that we didn't expect. But we'll see. As far as Ubisoft goes, like I said, it's straightforward at this point. The Division 2's already been announced. They haven't shown anything of it. They're going to show something. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2, you might get something, but it's not going to be anywhere close to like a release date or anything like that. Even the trailer that we got before wasn't really representative of the game so much as it was just a concept. Uh, because from what I read, the uh, monkey that was in the trailer that was released last year at E3 represents the player character and is not an actual character in the game. So the best character in the trailer doesn't exist. But then again, it's still so early in development, they could change that. Uh, Skull and Bones, 
Definitely going to see something on that. That's supposedly coming out this year. We'll see about that, though. Who knows? Uh, also, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. They already said they're going to show that at E3. Whether it comes out this year or not is yet to be seen, but it's there. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 looks like it's actually going to come out this year. Square Enix is definitely going to show Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Final Fantasy VII Remake, you'll see something, but again, I doubt it's coming out anytime soon. So don't expect it to be anything close to a launch trailer. They're supposedly working on an Avengers game. Apparently that's like a big thing that just went over my fucking head. I'm excited to see what it is, but at the same time, who knows? Um, Life is Strange. That'd be kind of cool if they showed Life is Strange 2. I still haven't played the prequel uh, Before the Storm, which I need to uh, before anything else. Uh, I also still need to play the first Tomb Raider game on the channel before the third one comes out. And I might replay the second one because... I had to stream that in such shitty quality when I streamed it. Uh, again, Nintendo, I just don't really think it's going to be anything special. It's going to be a lot of Smash and a few other things sprinkled on top. But that's pretty much it as far as the schedule goes. And again, the only thing that I do not plan on covering is the EA uh, stuff. I'm not going to cover that live because I just can't. And the Devolver Digital thing, I'm going to prioritize Bethesda because I'm sure that's going to overlap because it always fucking does. Bethesda always overlaps something else. Uh, and the PC gaming show, I just don't have any interest in. Uh, it's not the kind of stuff that I care to cover. It's not really an interesting topic. I might watch it, but I'm not going to cover it. Um, and Nintendo, still kind of up in the air because usually their stuff is pre-recorded. I might watch it and film myself watching it and do a reaction video. But everything else will be covered live as it happens. It might be stuff that only I'm watching and I might hang out in the chat with you guys while it's going on. Or it could be something like last year where I have a friend come in with me and we do it together. But I know for a fact that one of my friends is going to E3 this year physically and he will not be involved in most of these conferences because of that. Uh, I know Ronnie will be joining me for the Microsoft conference, but as far as everything else goes, it's still kind of up in the air. Um, Bethesda is Sunday at nine o'clock. We might have Andrew. Uh, if you don't know who those people are, you can watch last year's stuff and that will be a little more clear, but it'll be the same general concept as what last year was in terms of all of this. If it's live, we will start about a half an hour before, discuss what we expect to see, discuss what we want to see, watch the press conference with ourselves muted. We'll be hanging out in chat, reacting, stuff like that. And then we'll have a 15 to 30 minute discussion of what they announce after the fact. Uh, that'll be for anything that we do live. The stuff that I will record myself alone uh, after it comes out, like the EA press conference. I will record myself watching it initially and edit it down and make a video out of it after the fact. But that's pretty much it for my plans for E3. Um, I know I've been a little bit lazy. I did redo some of the assets for the channel, and then I just kind of just stopped making videos for a while. But I'm back on trying to be anyway. So we'll see how things go. Uh, I've had a lot of stuff come up recently that has just kind of dragged me down and I haven't felt like making content, but I'm going to try and turn that around and push myself to do what I want to do with the channel and get myself out there a little bit more. So I hope you guys stick around and we'll see if any of these predictions come true. If anything that is rumored or if any of those bullshit lists are true in about two days time, uh, Again, I won't be live with anything until Sunday at 4 p.m. my time. Uh, I am in the Eastern time zone, so it'll be around then. Uh, obviously, check your times here for when it will start for you. But it'll be about 3.30-ish for me. Because, like I said, we will start a little bit early to uh, discuss beforehand. That being said, I hope you guys enjoy... The coverage and the news and the excitement of E3. I always love this. It's my favorite time of year. I hope you enjoy 
everything else that I'm putting out there. I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Ta-ta.